All right, so today I want to show you my Harley Davidson. I actually bought a Harley. A lot of people have been asking, hey, did you actually buy the bike? And what kind of a Harley did you buy? And this is it right here. I actually bought a 2007 Harley Davidson Dyna Street Bob. Pretty awesome. It's pretty tricked out. It has a lot of, a lot of really cool options on it. I actually was doing a live stream marathon over on YouTube for about three days straight. I think I was doing like 12 hours a day for three days straight until I lost my voice. I was actually trying to raise some super chat money to pay for the bike, which partially paid for the bike. And then after I lost my voice, I was like, all right, I'm coming up with the money by selling some ball python hatchlings. So this is kind of a mix between uh, snake money and super chat money, pretty much 100% not financed at all. And kind of the interesting thing is I actually bought it at this company. Uh, it's, this place is actually in Wisconsin, Road Track and Trail. And I actually bought it online and paid for it and they're supposed to ship it to me. I was actually kind of waiting until I actually got the bike before I did the video. And I thought, you know, it's, it's already been a few weeks since I actually bought it. And I was actually looking at the fine print on Road Track and Trail. It says they ship within 28 days. But if you actually look at the fine print, it actually says 28 days, that which are weekdays, not including holidays. So that stretches it out to almost two months, which is kind of crazy. So technically, I might get my Harley Davidson on Christmas in the middle of December. Up here in the mountains, it may be like waist deep snow when they actually come to deliver it. It's going to be kind of interesting. So I thought, I actually pulled up a whole bunch of pictures here. I kind of wanted to go through some of these pictures. It's a pretty awesome motorcycle. And it's kind of interesting if you actually look at Road Track and Trail, they have like 250 motorcycles for sale over there. It's a pretty big place. They have tons of Harley Davidsons. And if you actually look at some of these older Harleys, a lot of them have been so modified that, that no two Harleys really look the same. And for some reason when I saw this one, it really caught my eye, just all the options that are available on this. If you actually, I kind of wanted to go through these pictures and kind of point out some of this crazy stuff on this bike. So the, the only skull that is on this bike is right here on the back. So, you know, a lot of people that are into Harleys are into like skulls and spikes and flames and stuff like that. And I kind of like the one little skull right on the back. So essentially the, uh, the, the Dyna Street Bobs, they actually came with just one single seat. So this seat on the back and the little sissy bar here is an extra add-on as far as kind of the, one of the mods that whoever had it before actually did it to the bike, which is pretty cool. I actually wanted to show you some of the other things here. So the kind of the, you know, kind of the double-edged sword about buying online is that I actually haven't sat on the bike. I haven't started the bike, so I don't know what it sounds like. And I'm kind of taking their word for it that it is street ready and ready to go. And after I bought it, you know, I figured it was a really big place and they go through the whole thing pretty much from front to end. I was kind of asking about the tires. If the tires were worn out, they said that they'd actually replace them. And it looks like it has really good tires on it. And then right after I bought it, they sent me a whole checklist that said, yeah, everything's running okay. It doesn't have any oil leaks, which was kind of, a peace of mind but then if you actually start looking at these pictures you're like well you know is this a real good condition or is this been you know the, uh, with an increased contrast in this picture and you can't really tell exactly how good in condition it is until you actually see it in person so I'm hoping it's as, really as good as it looks here and kind of the interesting thing about this is it has this black no logo on the side it almost looks like the tank has been completely repainted with a different paint. Or somehow they took the logo off, or I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the paint. But as far as I can see, it looks like it's in really good condition. And some of it's kind of hard because you can't tell if there's little scratches or if these are reflections from other things in the shop. But I saw quite a few angles on the paint and it seems like it's in really good condition and you can actually see right here this is the intake so they upgraded the intake with the screaming eagle uh the the, the air intake for the engine which is pretty cool and the only thing that really kind of concerned me was the handlebars. I really like the look of the handlebars. And at first I thought they were maybe a little bit shorter than they were. And then I started looking at this. I started looking at a lot of motorcycle videos online. And I'm wondering if these are going to be above my shoulders, which would be kind of cool. I do like the, the ape hangers that are a little bit higher, but these are really super high. It's, it's, it's actually a pretty expensive modification to really raise your handlebars like this, like a couple thousand 
thousand dollars in some cases because you have to raise the handlebars and then you actually have to have new lines for all your connections for your throttle your brake and your clutch and everything like that and it actually has uh, upgraded hardware for you know the handles on the ends which is pretty cool so uh, the, I really like the look of it I'm not sure if it's gonna be too high or <laughs> exactly how it's gonna fit that's kind of the kind of the you know the downside of ordering something like this online not even seeing it or riding it or anything like that which is kind of crazy <laughs> it's kind of the first time I've actually done this if you actually look at the tank it looks really good I could put pretty much anything right on the side of the tank as a matter of fact you can actually go over to eBay and they have Harley Davidson emblems that you can stick right on there they're just like little uh, it looks like the original emblems from Harley Davidson that you can stick right on the tank which is pretty awesome you can make it look really like a like a you can pretty much customize it any way you want so this is kind of interesting. I was kind of looking at the center console. This looks pretty stock, but the one thing that caught my eye in this is if you actually look, if you're into Harley Davidson's, this is where your gas cap usually is. It has a screw on gas cap. And I was actually looking this up. It actually looks like it pushes down into the tank and kind of sits flush with the gas cap. As a matter of fact, I think the gas gauge was over on this side, so I'm not sure. It looks like they put one over here to match, but I don't know if you can tell how much gas you have in your tank with this little thing over here. It's, so it's kind of hard to figure out exactly what's going on with this without actually talking to the guy. And I know when I talked to the guy, he was really busy. And take a look at this. This is pretty awesome. It actually has, I looked up these mufflers. These are the Vance and Hines short shots, which is, they're really super loud and sound really aggressive, super mean mufflers which is pretty awesome so between the mufflers and the, the the screaming eagle intake I really like the look of this combination right here and this actually has forward control so I'm pretty sure that the Dyna Harley the Harley Dynas actually have mid control so the, the foot pegs and the levers are actually kind of set back here and then some people actually move them to the front for taller people which I was kind of thinking this would actually be a really good bike for me since I'm since I'm really tall I'm actually six foot four so I'm actually hoping that this bike fits me okay I was actually looking at some of these pedals they have a whole bunch of different pedals and levers that you can upgrade which is pretty awesome it looks like I mean you really don't have to upgrade anything on this bike just as it is it's pretty awesome so take a look at this front wheel. They did quite a few modifications to the front wheel. They actually, usually the fenders come around and they stop right just above the forks here. This is actually a modified front fender that comes all the way around. And then the forks are modified. Usually at the end of the forks, you actually have a nut that you can see that connects the tire. And the guy said in the ad, the ad actually said it was a 21 inch front wheel. So I'm thinking maybe the wheel is a different size or a different different kind of wheel. It seems like it's maybe a little bit thinner than the stock wheel. I'm not sure if the the wheel is stock or not. But kind of the other thing is actually the, the uh, if you actually look at another picture over here, I'm not sure if it's yeah. So right here, this is the 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 the, the, the uh, I think they call it the triple the triple tree, which is I've never actually heard that term before. But it, uh, actually, you can change out the triple tree and increase the rake on your front end, which essentially brings the front tire out a little bit further kind of giving you that chopper look so that's what they did with this bike and they kind of stretched out the front of the bike and apparently it's it's not good as good in turns if you actually push the front wheel out but it's actually better on the highway which is kind of interesting and take a look at this light this is like the craziest light that they upgraded to I haven't decided if you know it really depends on how bright this light is if, if it's a really bright light then I'll definitely keep it but you know you can pretty much go through and change everything you want and then the, the you definitely tell on the blinkers they kind of changed it to kind of a fogged out blinker which is pretty cool if you actually take a look at the back, the back is pretty much stock as far as I can see. It looks like they still have the stock shocks. I was actually looking into the Legend stocks. The Legend st shocks will actually really increase the comfort as far as if you hit the bumps or something like that. I'm not sure. I guess I have to you know, see how rough it is on the road. Some people say that if you actually upgrade to the $1,000 Legend shocks, you actually really change the whole feel of the bike and it really, really 
smooths it out, which is pretty awesome. So it looks like maybe on the back blinkers, maybe it's a little bit fogged out as far as the covers on the blinkers. Maybe they're different blinkers. I can't, I haven't actually seen as far as, you know, what the stock looks like compared to everything side by side. But it's kind of interesting at this view. It looks like those handlebars are really high up there. It's going to be really interesting actually getting this bike and trying it out and see how well it handles with those really high bars. That is pretty cool. I just, for some reason, I just really like the look of this bike. Bike. It looks really awesome as far as all the other bikes that I've actually seen. And you can actually see on the side, they moved on the other side, they moved the front, the, the foot controls up to the front. So you have the front controls here. And then this is the horn cover. You can actually see they upgraded the horn cover to an interesting black here. And kind of the cool thing, the, probably the first thing that I would do is you can actually change the cover on the primary. You can actually put like a, like a skull or I actually saw one that said live to ride ride to live or something they actually have some that say ride free that it's a really simple upgrade all you do is just take off these five bolts and then just swap it out and put it back on so the primary right here this is essentially uh, this comes out of your engine and you have a chain so it's initially a chain drive right here to your clutch and then from your clutch over to your wheel, you actually have a belt drive, which is kind of interesting. It's like a, like a Kevlar belt, which is <laughs> the first time I've ever actually seen that. I actually have, back in the day, I used to have a 79 Harley Davidson Sportster back when the, the 79 was pretty new. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. And that that's, I haven't really looked at Harleys much since then. And it's, it's pretty interesting looking at all the different models. And one of the reasons I actually got the Dyna is because it's a little bit bigger than the Sportster and it's not as big as some of the really big baggers with the you know with all the bags and everything it's like 200 pounds lighter than some of the baggers a little bit more nimble and I was looking for something you know nothing really as far as you know going cross country just more you know across Colorado driving you know kind of the reptile shows I might do some local reptile shows maybe in some neighboring states but nothing too crazy you know like a thousand mile trips or anything like that you you can also put, you know, you can you can kind of upgrade this to a bagger style. You can actually put like a fairing on the front for a wind deflector. You can put some saddlebags on the back. Probably I'll put some leather saddlebags on the back. That's probably another thing that I'll definitely upgrade. But I just kind of wanted to show you what the bike looks like right from the pictures here before I actually get it in the house here. And essentially, if I actually get it, I'll, I'll just be putting it in the garage. I won't be able to drive it because I'm sure there'll be a lot of snow here in Colorado in the middle of the winter. So that is my Harley Davidson. I thought I'd just share it real quick. I'm really looking forward to getting it. Hopefully here, as a matter of fact, the guy said on the phone, it was like, he said it was going to be like one to three weeks for shipping. And I think it's already been two weeks. We kind of got a little bit of a delay because I actually sent him a check for the bike and after eight days he still didn't get the check so I did a wire transfer which went through pretty much right away and then he sent me some paperwork and then some of the paperwork I actually had to get notarized so I had to bring it down to the bank and sit in front of someone and get it notarized and then scan it and ship it back to him and then finally after all that fiasco he finally scheduled the shipping which was early last week so I guess it's only been maybe about a week and a half since I've actually been waiting on the shipping. So maybe here in another week or two, I actually get this motorcycle, which would be pretty awesome. So I thought I'd just give you an update on the Harley Davidson. Really looking forward to getting it. And I'll probably bring it to some local reptile shows. You'll definitely, you'll probably hear me before you actually see me coming into the reptile shows. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.